The Rainmaker makes it really easy to do Carpless Strong Synthesis. Uh, there's even a, a preset where it's all ready to go, so we can just load that up. And we're generating some Carpless Strong Synthesis. So what's going on here is the trigger is, uh, is set to ping input, so it's generating a little bit of white noise uh, when you hit the red button. And uh, we've got the calm size set really short, so uh, so that actually produces tonality when there's feedback added. So, so the more feedback there is, the more that tone gets sustained, and we can use the comb size. We can use the comb size to uh, tune that. And so, because the trigger has a trigger input, uh, we can plug in a gate signal there and uh, run a sequence. And then because the Rainmaker has this one volt per octave input, we can actually use a melodic CV signal to control that comb size and produce melodies. And then we can still use the comb size knob to kind of tune things. And then the comb feedback becomes our uh, sustain kind of dictates how long those notes ring out and that ping input if we switch that to shaped pulse it does kind of change the sound a little bit so ping input is a white noise burst so you get a bit more of that breathy, scratchy kind of sound, and the shaped pulse is just a, a short square wave. So you get a bit of more of that bassy, bouncy kind of sound. So let's keep it on ping input. And now, another thing that really affects the way this sounds is the filter that's in the feedback loop. So it defaults to guitar, Raw has no filtering, so it's really buzzy. We can also change the pattern to affect the timbre of the signal. And we can change the slope as well. So that's using the internal noise generator. Uh, we can also, of course, send an external noise signal in there. So what I'm going to do is just send a burst of white noise coming from noise tools, and that's going through the Polaris filter and the micro VCA here. So I'll just plug that output in here. So by using an external noise signal, it gives us a bit more opportunity to control and shape that signal. Uh, so right now, here, I'm just going to turn that up. So we've got it going through a low pass filter right now. And of course with the Polaris we can switch that to band pass. And high pass. and then we can shape that with an envelope as well. So I've got the same envelope, ADSR1, controlling both the Polaris and the micro VCA. Add a bit of Q to give some emphasis. And 
switching from white noise to pink noise has a pretty substantial impact too. So let's just get that zero note again. So there's a lot more low frequency energy with pink noise, so you get a lot more bassiness with it. So I mentioned that the feedback can kind of control the, the way the notes sustain or ring out. So if we take an envelope and use that to control the feedback, back off on the feedback a bit, and uh, just turn that up. It gives us another means to shape that tone. So with slower envelopes, you can kind of hear that effect a bit more. So I'll slow down the sequence here. 